Mr. Speaker, it was an honor to have Prime Minister Net Benjamin Netanyahu speak to a joint session of Congress yesterday. Israel is one of our country's closest allies, and the partnership shared between our two countries is vital in achieving peace and stability in the Middle East. The Prime Minister is correct that reinstatement of the 1967 borders makes the country indefensible. I am grateful to the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee for two tours of Israel, where I saw the strategic importance of the Golan Heights to stop Hezbollah, and I learned of the inhumanity of rocket attacks by Hamas on Sederat. Israeli families are vulnerable to cowardly murderers. Israel should not be forced to negotiate with those who refuse to acknowledge its right to exist. The United States must remain committed to Israel to promote peace and democracy in the Middle East. I look forward to continuing to work with Israel in promoting peace, freedom, and stability. Ronald Reagan was right, peace through strength. In conclusion, God bless our troops and we will never forget September 11th and the global war on terrorism. Gentleman's time has expired. What purpose the gentleman from Michigan rise? Without objection, so ordered.